<sighs> oh. Friday morning, 8th November, sat in the annex. Well, last Friday morning, 1st of November. Good segue. Ich bin Berliner. How good are you to just have a normal weekend back at home in uh, in sunny Leeds? <laughs> yeah. Sunny Leeds, I'll say sunny Leeds. Oh my goodness, I had to build an ark to get home last night. From it's Armageddon. <laughs> it was, it was like the day after tomorrow. It is, isn't it? It was ridiculous. Don't want any more rain, please. No more rain no today. No more rain, no. Anyway, welcome back to NX with me, Danny. And Lance. Hello. Hello. I can't remember the last video we've done where we don't actually have any trainers to show you that we've not already shown you. We had such a good time in Berlin that it, we had to kind of share the experience. If we'd have done a, a vlog of the Berlin trip yeah. and added in the episode in the shop, it just would have been too long and but needs what, to be done. Yeah, and, and what a weekend, yeah. to be honest. Started off Manchester Airport in the lounge. That makes us sound like ballers, doesn't it? We did pay to go into the lounge. Oh, the lounge, but yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> go to the lounge at Manchester Airport, it was £25. Yep. <laughs> you could eat as much and drink as much as you wanted for like three hours. And it was nice, hot and food. It was, it was really nice. nice. <laughs> this is not paid, this is paid not advertising. Paid advertising for Manchester Airport. I'll tell you what was really good. We what? might get onto this later. Like, so me and Lance don't often get a chance to sit down and talk about the annex, believe it or not. But we actually had a bit of time on the plane, didn't we? I was trying to read my book. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We won't talk about the airline, though, will we? No, no, no. That's my idea. To let us get on with more bags than we booked on true. so I can't really say anything. Very true, yes. And we'll keep dropping bits of footage in at, at points all the way through this video. But it was just such a good event. Landed Friday, Yeah. got to the hotel, the Moxie Hotel in Berlin. Oh my God. Brilliant, wasn't it? Such a nice hotel. The bar, you could have just stopped in that bar all night, couldn't you? Super so, cool. Super cool bar. Yeah, a few little welcome free drinks. Welcome drinks. Sweet, that was sweet, wasn't it? Too sweet for Oof. me, I couldn't. Obviously it went down because it was free. We travelled from the airport on public transport, which was oh yeah mega. Mm. Come on, Hello. Welcome back to Berlin with uh, me, Danny, and Lance. Yeah, you haven't got the right to say welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! Sorry about that. Yeah. German train. We did try filming the airport, but someone got stopped at passport control. Yeah. How was your? Um, is it okay? It's not too sore, is it? Which passport control? You no, didn't get no, through no, first no. time. Is it your uh, young-looking passport photo? Is that why you didn't detect your scan? On the scan? Any, doesn't look anything like me anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we've we've come over to Berlin. We've got not better to do this weekend. So why not come over and uh, buy a pair of trainers or? set of trainers or what we call them double pack a double pack yeah double ender pack of trainers is it is it i think, I think so. so so yeah we're uh, we're about to experience german trains first time german trainer no no did you come in last time uh, i think i've been on one before being a train person i'm kind of excited it looks a bit boring though i'm more of a trainer person <laughs> <laughs> oh he wants to get that he's done that twice now yeah he's walking up and down right. uh so what we're gonna do we're gonna go drop our bags at the hotel, yeah. run down to Overkill, put our name on the list, it's not already on the list at yeah. all. That's Go it. to eat, meet up with the crew. That's it, thought I'd bring a bit of Blackburn to Berlin, that's me today. Nice. What about you? Leeds, is that what I said? Leeds to Liverpool to Berlin, yeah. Because loads of people are looking at us going, why the hell is this guy talking English? All these people. Well, uh, we'll see you. Uh, I don't say hotel, you're not having any hotel footage because that could sound a bit wrong. We'll see you outside Overkill. Bye. Like the trains in the UK. <laughs> Good controllers, I think. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Good logistics teams running them trains in Berlin. All public transport was class. There was, yeah, all public transport was class, but there was some cancel trains, I don't know if you noticed it. I clocked the cancel ones. So yeah, we got, got, to, the, uh, got to the shop Friday, met up with Talker Tony, Braz. God, he was giddy. Tony, was he? <laughs> sure. Woof, woof. John, Sally, he's gonna stick, he's gonna stick, he's gonna stick, yeah it is gonna stick. The other Tony Chester, yeah. Tony Muir Chester, yeah. and it was just like almost a surreal, went down, put our names on the queue, 
uh, on the sh on the on the list. Pretty um, much straight away, bumped into quote. Oh yeah, quote. And then obviously spoke to Mark from yeah. Overkill. Nice to nice to see those boys. When we found out that the shoes weren't actually on site. Yeah, we were like, hmm, we have just flown from <laughs> Manchester to get these shoes. But then, I mean, hospitality. Once the shoes were in, and we we helped. <laughs> People helped. I did help a little bit. Yeah, so basically a truck arrived with what, I don't even know, it must have been 600, however many pairs, all the yeah. trainers arrived. Yeah. They needed to be taken off the bus, off the lorry, yeah. into the shop, take yeah. out the cardboard boxes, all set up in their piles oh, of sizes, so... just ready for the launch the following day. But there was obviously free beer and pizza floating around <sighs> free to, help. Oh, to help us along the way. Yes. So if you did get a box from Overkill uh, with pizza, grease and um, beer <laughs> and your shoes, uh, we do apologise for that. It's a bit, a bit warmer in here, isn't it, than it is outside. Welcome to Overkill, people. Look, and here are the main event. Look at these. So as you can see, I'm absolutely sweat through. But uh, are we all to say beep? Beep. <laughs> Wet through, Beep. but we are gonna go grab a few beers. Our name is on the list, so we're gonna have to keep checking back in through the night. Let's have some drinks. I'm really hungry. Should we go for some sweet? Burger, burger, curry curry burst. Oh, yeah, check these out. A better Berlin. Obviously. Just because. Oh. Just because. Just because. Don't want to be too obvious and wear some ZX Dewey Lance. Uh, <laughs> nope. Right, let's go get some sweet. And a beer. Yeah, and oh, yeah just a, a great evening. Um, so good to see Stefan. Yep. Well, he's obviously from Berlin, Berlin and Switzerland. And I was like, oh. it's like, stuff like that. Just like, and then I do. I'd never caught the guy's name, but the guy who came up to us who was deaf, who will pop you in. And that was cool, wasn't it? You know, conversing with somebody who watches our YouTube channel yep. via subtitles in German. It's amazing. Couldn't believe that. That was one of the high... It was one of the shocks, that. Yeah, yeah, pleasant, yeah. pleasant surprise. Pleasant, pleasant very pleasant. pleasant surprise. And also, uh, uh, we, I had a bit of a chat to uh, uh, Julita yep. Bonita. Yeah. She's a very big Addy fan. Very big. Massive. And Till. Super cool Till from... Oh, Adidas. with those one-off. ZX's 8000s, weren't they? The, we'll definitely pop a we'll picture. We'll definitely pop a picture in here because they were. One of ones. They were mega. Never will see the light of day. No. So. I, I think I'm sample size, so if you want to send them through <laughs> after you've won a couple of times. <laughs> but just such a good evening. Loads of beer was drunk and party till God knows what time in the morning. Yeah, but and also, <coughs> just the mad thing was can we film? Yes, you can. But don't do it now. Let's let us go upstairs and tidy up yeah. the place for you, so it looks. Nice made the, I episode. mean, the set where we filmed the episode. It was just surreal, and having a live audience that was really good. Would you like more live audience annex videos? Poll. Let us know. Do a poll. But yeah, that was really good. A little bit weird. Not gonna lie. It was helped <laughs> with a little bit of alcohol, though. A li yes, it was. I'm not sure you can tell on the video. To be fair. No, I don't think we're that. Not like this video. So it is. Officially, Are you, have you got Brexit time? It's or? twenty to twelve. Twenty to twelve, proper time. Twenty to twelve. I will not be so drunk in the morning that I cannot perform. Yeah, that's but that the words of that is very clever. I'm not asking about drunk. But you're asking. Are you gonna be sober? Am I gonna be sober in the morning? States. Am I gonna need to throw up to be able to perform in the morning? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. I don't think so. You're going to be tired and sleepy and I think, I, I think, and I think, all I think I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be buzzing okay. because I'm buzzing. Okay. Perfect. I'm buzzing. I'm in Berlin Perfect. With, Perfect. with my best friends. Perfect. And that's go. it. Is that all right for you? That's Is that good. okay for you? That's, we're not live, by the way. I know. I don't care. Now well, that video was funny. Yeah. One of my highlights. I'm sure. We've jumped so forward you... on the timeline there. That was Saturday night. No one. Saturday night, you bailed out early. That was us walking down the big mural wall on Friday night when we no. walked all the way back to the hotel. No, that was on the way. <laughs> you don't remember it because that was that was on the way to the other guy's hotel when we turned up and there was that band playing and that party. I was stone cold Steve Austin. I know you Because I stopped drinking about some So that is Saturday night. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oops. That proves my it point. all blends into it. Proves my point. point. Exactly. Yeah. Um, oh no, Bergenmeister needs a special mention. Bergenmeister needs a very, you know, if you don't go to Berlin and have Bergenmeister then, probably worth the flight. Oh, the chili shoes. cheeseburger on a brioche bun. It's incredible. It is food for the gods. 
Yeah. And okay. the party. So when we got out at like half past, about two o'clock in the morning out of Overkill, went to Little Burgermeister, which was under like a train line. Yeah. And they were like raving in there. <laughs> it was like, what? Yep, yeah, we'll have another beer and we'll have a Burgermeister. That yeah, was brilliant. And yeah, it was so good. The only negative thing was uh, someone's nose. But yeah, it was Friday. Saturday. Relatively early start. We didn't sleep much at all because we went back down for a roll call. Here he is. Can't miss out on the video. Here he is, the little weasel. Wasn't I? Good morning. Oh God, overkill. Saturday morning. Yep. How many hours sleep? Four. Four hours sleep. How many hours partying? About fourteen. More than four. So you can see it's a bit, it's a bit struggling at the minute. We are number sixty-eight. 69 in the queue, something like that. Well, you're 72. All oh, right. I'm 73, I think. Oh, 72, 73. I knew it was about there somewhere. So we can just dive in the queue in our place. Oh, oh, hang on. Where that is? Who's that? Someone's phoning. I'm not answering. Ignoring him. Who is it? Tony. Ah, don't need to talk to him. So yeah, we are about 9:15. We've got about 45 minutes wait. But yeah, we had an epic night last night. You probably watched it in the last video where we managed to film the shoes inside Overkill, which is just absolutely... I hope it's a good episode. We, are, we haven't filmed in a better location, have we? No. I don't think Definitely so. Definitely not. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll go down the queue, some of the shoes that people are wearing in this crappy weather. What are you on today? Uh, obvious. Game overs. Obviously, what I'm ripping Special, of course. Nice, disrespectful. It's not disrespectful at all. Uh, yeah, we'll go down the queue, we'll see what people have got in there. And uh, then we'll head inside and pick up some, some trainers. Hope they've got some size eights left. Please. We did panic a little bit. Not as much as somebody else panicked. And then, yeah, like, got in the queue and a really good system because then the Mark just said, get into the queue where your number is because we're going to call you out in order. So yeah. it's a really good system, that. It so is. everybody in the queue on, on the night, the weather was horrific and it was really cold. So Mark sent everyone away and just went, no, go. And then come back in the morning and just get in. As long as you're there for roll call. What a way to do it. Yeah, no, it's good. What other, a perfect way to do it. Other people should take note. And we said that about the last trip to Berlin. So we all kind of milled congregated, around. milled around. And then it was about 10 o'clock, wasn't it? Doors opened and get called in according to your number. And then we're in the shop buying? Yep, in the shop. What size are you? Go to that place, pick up your trainers, pay for your trainers. So easy to get through. It's not a photo. <laughs> Hundred euros off. How, how lucky are we? So you saw it in the video yesterday, but now, Finally got in. Are we nice and warm now? Yeah. It's bloody freezing outside Berlin. Who said come to Berlin in November? <laughs> Finally, after all this time, how many beers last night? How many beers this morning? Oh, you have to pay the shoe over there, please. Oh, you have to pay over there. Okay. Oh, it goes through. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Brexit, yeah. Brexit. <laughs> oh yeah, we were worried. We were worried we weren't going to get here yesterday. So the journey is done now. Well, I don't know, do you? I know. Uh, okay, yeah. So we have 160 USB payback cards. Let's go over here and pose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And pose. Right. Yeah. So you don't need to ask him twice. Hold the back. Yeah. And then that's how you your feet. You must smile. I must smile. He said pose. Let's go and see. Booked it, packed it. Let's go and see Tony. <laughs> got drunk again. <laughs> we, uh, we had some beers in uh, Tony's hotel. And Tony went, for, Tony went for food on his own, yeah, which we've yeah. actually got a picture of. Passing toast and apples. Oh yes, naughty. To Sally. Naughty. John on the uh, Bloody Marys. 25 euro breakfast. 
<laughs> saw him coming a mile off, didn't they? Yeah, they did. And what did we do for the rest of the day? Well, went for some food, went to Paul's Boutique to have a little look around there. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Oh, it's too chaotic for me. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I can't cope with... Uh, it's just... Uh... I found a couple of pairs that were quite nice, like some superstars and... Mark bought some Red Hot Chili Pepper superstars, didn't Yes, he, he did. Oh, and then we went on the scooters. The electric scooters. Yep. See you next time, Onyx. Bye. Electric scooters from Paul's Boutique over to Sneakers and Stuff Berlin. Yep. Yep. More drinks at the craft beer place. Oh, and then we had Jägermeisters in the hat shop. That's the way to do it. Tony bought a hat, didn't he? And as a thank you for buying the hat, we all got Jägermeisters each in the yeah, shop. Yeah, we got, buy one hat, get seven Jägermeisters <laughs> free. I mean, standard. Visited at the original store. Yeah, which was nice. Nice. It's just milling around, wasn't it? It's a great city. Just, what else can you want to just go around with like some mates? Just walking around Berlin and like going for a pee in the uh, portal hoos and stuff because we can't find it. Oh, that was mad. That's a bit weird, isn't it? But you're on the side of a main street and you literally like, you walk out, you're not, you don't know whether there's going to be a crowd. I was expecting someone to tip me over as I went in. <laughs> well, never thought of that. No. And then we ended up going back to Overkill because just on the off chance, that there were going to be more pairs left or whatever and they hadn't sold out and we could buy them. Okay, we were going to try and hook people up. We going to try and hook people up but, but that... Every pair had gone. Every pair. And so we ended up going back to the bar over the road and staying there for a few hours. And then more Burgermeister. And then back to some hotel with some dodgy... Dodgy band on. Oh, it was, no, it was a girl on a keyboard, wasn't it? It looked like some kid's disco. Their hotel was a music-themed hotel, wasn't right, it? Right. It had a stage in the lobby. Then back home, up early the following day. Because at this point, Sunday... I've never been to Berlin, and we went all the way to Berlin to buy some trains, and we had a fantastic time. But I was like, "Come on, we, I kind of feel like we need to see Berlin." So we did a, a whistle stop tour, didn't we? On a bus. Right, started at the TV tower, didn't it? Oh yeah, TV, TV tower. TV tower, Brandenburg Gate, Reichstag. Reichstag, where we kept dry because it was absolutely we chucking it down. And checkpoint Charlie to yeah. do a, to do a bit of a photo shoot. Yeah. With the trainers seemed appropriate. But it, well, that was cool. So we, we got to part of the wall. Well, first of all, we cleared checkpoint Charlie out and just kind of like just put the box on. And we're, every, all the tourists were stood around going, "Who are these two idiots here?" I think the thought we were from Adidas because we were all Adidas up. Yeah. And then just opened up this Adidas box and put the shoes on and stuff. And then we went to the wall. And then there was a guy who obviously recognised the shoes and he was talking German, so I didn't understand. But it's kind of cool. Like people were. Not looking and we I'm weren't sure making curiosity. Yeah, we still. weren't making a show of it, but we wanted to get some good pictures obviously for you guys. But there were the people like obviously going, What are these guys doing? and like taking the, the they don't people want a taking themselves at checkpoint, Charlie. They want a picture of their trainers at checkpoint, Charlie. That's it, yeah, yeah. How yeah. weird are these? Yeah, do you know what? And for all you guys that say, Uh, where are you gonna put them on the wall? Well, I don't know if I've been hiding them or not. The wall, they fit perfectly. The in fact, wall. we could do with how many boxes of these they'd fit perfectly. Yeah, imagine a wall of uh, oh, be brilliant. Oh. a wall of the wall. Yours are yours, must uh, the boxes are <coughs> different sizes, which yeah. So yeah, I mean we've done a big review on them already, so, yeah, so we're, we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to do them, but just some other things that we did. Yeah, we didn't really talk much about the, the box. Bo did we? The box got all the individuality and equality, equality, and then, and then like unity, freedom, and unity, unity and freedom. So and yeah, if you remember those four symbols on the back of the shoes and written on the laces, and you can argue the east and the west side falls out of the boxes, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's sort of how I kind of yeah. So one side. We will do another quick one because it'd be rude not to. And we didn't actually, sh this was the... Uh... We don't need to go over all the details, they're just... No, all the details are in the other video. Yeah, but go and watch the other video. What a fantastic shoe. Interesting, someone, uh, someone first went, oh, it'd be good if they were just grey, you know, to represent the wall. There's a lot of things, actually, when we were talking to Mark and, and Till and, and all the guys from Adidas, and, and there was lots of input. In. I thought they were going to be... One would be representing East Germany and one would be representing West Germany before the, obviously all the pictures came out. And yeah. There's so many variations they could have done, but just a well executed, yeah, well executed pair of trainers. We made a big deal about it, but we didn't make a big deal. You know, it was 160 euros yeah. for two pairs. Is I know this is what, yeah. It's ridiculous. It how, 80 euros each a pair. How, I mean, how have they done it? I don't know. It's ridiculous. £65 for a pair of ZX8000s. I know. Good luck. <laughs> they were probably more than that. Good luck. In 1989 when they came out. Probably not. Probably were. <laughs> I bet they were 50 quid. Anyway, that's insane. So yeah, 
Yeah, if you want to see more about the train, just go and watch the other video. Yeah, more more of the details. Go back and watch that. This is just a, like a whistle. I say whistle stop. It's probably probably one of the longest videos we've ever done. So when we set off on uh, doing the annex, we thought, wouldn't it be great, like one day, to like go to different cities and go trainer shopping? It was one of the discussions we had. Yeah. And we've not managed, obviously, I, mean, I didn't manage to get the time off work to go to Berlin last time. And yeah. we we're like, yeah, this is kind of cool, isn't it? Imagine going to different stores around the world. World? Europe? Yeah. Let's say world. Yeah. And, and do videos and go with friends and we've already had other people going man I wish I can I'm gonna come on the next one I wish I could go to the next one yeah we'll be the we'll be the judge of that yeah if you're allowed to come um, you buy one of our sweatshirts that we're about to release oh the uh, annex hoodies the annex hoodies if and you buy an annex hoodie you might be able to uh, there might be some more annex mugs coming because yeah, they're getting uh, wrecked now. because we need some more annex. well used yeah, they've well been used. class actually they have if you've got any ideas about what we should put on the annex mugs we'll do another mug and we are actually thinking about We've got to get some t-shirts and hoodies made up. Yeah. So if you'd like a t-shirt or hoodie, let us know because then we'll we'll think of a better way. It's not going to be garish. It's just going to have like our logo on and... Super cool. It'll just be super cool. Super cool. So yeah, let us know down below if that's of interest. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? And like, it's not it more, money, more, more money makes bigger ballers. It's more money makes more content. That's it. I'm not bothered about being a big baller. I just like... It's a good job, isn't it? Anyway, this video is way too long. Is it? So we spent Sunday sightseeing, and then obviously we just and then we flew up. headed home. Yeah, and it's just a memory now, which we get to share with you guys, and we get to keep it on video and put it on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, but anyway, loads of us. people we could probably thank for our too trip many to people, weekend, too many people, especially the Overkill team. But the Overkill boys, yeah, Mark, Quote, all the staff, all, oh, all the staff, just incredible. Yeah, what a weekend. So I think we'll end it there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah blah. See you next time, Bye. Bye.